Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 211, Nasdaq off 150, S&P's down 45. Gold, gold contract flat, 1996 an ounce. We have silver down 25 cents, 23 dollars 61 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 83 cents, 72 dollars 88 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up four ticks, trading 113.19. The 30 year up six ticks at 126.31 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 333 ticks, 103.535. The Euro is at 107. The yen is at 138. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to go to the future market first. So take a look at these futures. And we bring these babies up. So what we have out here is that this low is another high volume low. So we're going down to the lows, which is 41.53. Right now you have 41.59. But I also want to show you, like last night, when we were talking about the aspect of that high volume low from last night, overnight, and sure enough, it went after it. The bottom line is that, you know, market closed, hadn't gone after it yet. Not only went after it, it of course, it took it out. Uh, bottom line, now what you have here, now this is where it always gets cool, is that, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. Meaning... Is it going to, I suspect we're going to go after it. We're so close to it right now. When you're so close to it, it's, uh, yeah, you're only seven points away from it. So that thing wants to be taken out. And you can see right now we are on nine minutes. And it, you're at the, yeah, you're at the, you're at the, you're at the three, let's say if we say the bar is putting quarters. We're at the third quarter closer to the bottom. So that's, and you get an expansion of volume. So that expansion of volume is coming in. So that's saying we're going to go after this thing right now. Now, it's going to be pretty hard to basically blow that away um, because you get 63,000 contracts there, you know. But, you know, it's going to go after it. That's and your S&Ps. We go to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. They're going to be set up similarly, okay. You know, when they fire these babies off, yeah, there it is. So the NQs, same type of setup, you know. And the NQs there, that's 20, that's... 29,000 con 29, yeah, 29, contracts at the low. This last buy just had 13. Uh, but you can see it is an expansion. You know, this, this, yeah, this is going to go after that low. That's the bottom line. Now, notes and bonds. Notes and bonds. This is going to get really intriguing, folks. We, we get some divergence here. The note and bond market, they, this rejected lower price out here today. Let's put this up, and you're going to see how this shakes out, because this is like a classic almost. Okay, so what we have is this. Let me put this here first so I can figure out right where we're at. Okay, so we're going to go into that bar right there. So we're talking here. So watch this. Now, you have 2.5 million contracts in the 10-year, which is a lot of contracts, okay? But... This is what you're doing. You're going into 3.3 million contracts and 4.3 million contracts, and you rejected lower price. So what that sets up is that that sets up a rejection of lower price just about at the 0.618. The 0.618 would have been um, 113, and we did 113.04. So that's telling me this note and bond market is going to bounce again. If we go over to the dollar, now what we have with inside the dollar, the dollar is set up to go higher. I mean, this this setup here, last couple days, you can see you go sideways four days, straight up, sideways four days. You know, the next move up in the dollar is the 105 to 106 area. And then what is a wild card here is this gold contract. Because what we had in the gold contract, so now this is the, we're dealing with the, 
Let me just look at this for a second. Okay, so I'm dealing with the August contract now. So the contract just rolled again. Man, time is time is time is fast. <laughs> we got down to 17, 1974. You rejected it. 63,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. I know what I'll do. I'm going to go to the GLD for a second. This is how you can check these things, too, to see the correlation. Yeah, the GLD is doing the same thing, man. The, the, that's saying that, you know, the market's getting nervous about this debt ceiling, and, you know, you probably might get a little pop here. I'd be, I'd be careful. That, that's the bottom line. I'd still be careful beyond belief because what hasn't happened yet is that the XAU as well as the HUI, let's see where they went today. Okay, they went to the same place. Let's pull this up. When I, mean, when I say the same place, meaning that they're testing the lows of two days ago. Yeah, this test, this test is coming in. It's interesting. So, like on the XAU, I was looking for 125.14. Now, we've got down to 125.77. When you get that close, you know, you've got to really start looking at this, okay? Now, we don't get the volume until tomorrow. I mean, tonight at 8.15, GDX, GDX, GDX. Let's see what happens with the equities here for a second. Yeah, it's light volume, man. They're not, they're not selling it, but it hasn't tested it either. See, with the GDX, you need that test, man. You know, because that's a high volume low inside the GDX at 31.58. That's, that's how this thing shakes out, you know. And the bottom line is that, you know, you can expect the volatility to continue out here, folks, okay? That's, that's the bottom line. You know, right now, you get the high volume low that's laying out there. That hasn't got tested yet. Yet, you're still down 41 in the S&P. And, you know, we'll see how the rest of this shakes out. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And it's going to be a toss-up whether we have volume out here, meaning expanded volume. You get Tesla down $2.5. We got uh, Pfizer up a buck. You get uh, NVIDIA's down three seventy. You get uh, Google off uh, 250. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is